Very good morning to all of you. Welcome to our Today Morning Blessing program. You know that this program is called Morning Blessing because we come here to give you exactly that, to bless you with a word of faith and showing to you testimonies of those who overcame their problems. And what we see and what you will see here this morning will be the living proof that the Word of God is true and faith works against problems, against difficulties, against evil works. If you ever thought, why do we have faith? Perhaps you never thought about this. But God gave us faith so we could communicate to Him, we could believe in Him, but also we could destroy all evil works. And when I say evil works, I'm talking about things that you, you have in your life. For instance, if you have a deep sadness, that's a work of evil, it's not the work of God. If you always feel alone, that's a work of evil, not the work of God. And when I say alone, I'm not saying physically. Many people, they are physically with others, but inside they feel alone, that no one care, uh, cares about them. If you carry inside of you traumas, a void, anxiety, you have suicidal thoughts, and many other situations, these are evil works. So the faith, God gave us faith so we could cast down all these evil works. And what you will watch in a few moments is a testimony of a person who came to the Universal Church uh, burdened with all these kind of situations and learned how to use faith to cast down all those evil works. So please stay with us. If you want to join us for the prayer, you can just keep there, stay there watching the program because we'll pray for all of you here this morning. If you know someone who is suffering a lot, someone that you've already tried to help that person, but you don't know what else you can do, you know what? You can send to that person the link of the program, share with them this link and tell them to watch the program because I am sure what they will see, what they will listen, they will hear here this morning, it will help them. Faith made me understand that life can be different. And so who I am today is a result of that renewal of faith. It's not a one-off and I use it to overcome everything. My life in general is great. Um, I have to say I have a happy family. I'm fulfilled in myself. I have a healthy financial life. My health is good, so that's my life. I've been living a better life since my life been transformed for over 20 years now. I'm a very long time because of the commitment that I have made to the Universal Church. Before coming to the Universal Church, I faced every problem possible to be sincere. I had financial problems, I had health problems, I had spiritual issues where I was very depressed, suffered from anxiety. But the biggest problem was an inferiority complex. I never felt that I was good enough for anything. So I missed many opportunities. I was brought to the Universal Church by my mum. She had been attending for a little while. And what brought me wasn't really her invitation, was the change of life that I saw. My mum was a heavy, alcoholic and by going she stopped drinking and that really intrigued me and I thought I want to go to this place to see how she's managed a change over an addiction for more than 10 years and my going has really proved to be a life-changing situation for me the Universal Church is my home away from home it's an extended family but it's also a place where I get practical tips to really change my life for me to be universal means that I've learned that faith is the ultimate and that salvation is important. This is what it means to me to be universal. It's a place where everyone is welcome. When I came, I was a drug addict and I was welcome. So it's a place where anybody from any walk of life who needs support in anything can come and they will be welcomed. 
It was a process when I first started attending the Universal Church, how I learned to use my faith. I made a series of prayers, and that's what I remember, um, on very specific days for very specific problems. And that's the first thing I learned. So by doing this, the first change I saw was that I could sleep because I used to have a lot of nightmares, a lot of spiritual things that I didn't understand, my doctor couldn't explain, and so I didn't really want to explain it to people because I couldn't understand it. And when I could sleep, that really intrigued me, and I thought, oh, the biggest problem has been solved, I wonder what else can happen. And so I learned to make more and more series of prayers, and then I saw a change in my health, and then my family. And over a period of time, I saw things improve gradually. It wasn't overnight, and I liken it to when you go to the GP and you take medication, medication, you've got to take that medication for a series of days or weeks. And it was a similar thing. But the, the definite thing was the results definitely came. So I started to see results three months after attending the Universal Church, and that really encouraged me. As a universal person, helping people becomes in your blood because you understand the help that you received when you came. I was welcomed, I was really received with all the difficulties I had. And so it's important for me to let other people know that there is help out there. So when I'm at work and somebody speaks to me, I will share with them that there is a place that you can go where you will be received and helped with my family. But I think more importantly, with the example of life, I have friends who knew me before and see me now and automatically they're intrigued to see what's happened to get me to where I am today. I have belief in myself. That's how I see myself today. I know that I can fight any battle and actually overcome any difficulty. The old Lena didn't think like that. I was so complex that in a room, I'd always think I'm the worst. I can't do this. Lots of negativity about myself. I don't think like that. Do I face challenges? Yes, I do. But I have the universal family to support me through faith. I've conquered many things by the power of faith. I think I want to start with internal peace because that's something that doesn't depend on anything exterior, which means no one can take it from me. I conquered a very happy family. I've been married for over 20 years and he's my best friend and I conquered that through faith. I conquered healing. I conquered financial stability. I used to have a lot of issues with school. I'm now a head teacher of a school. So I conquered many things, but above all, I conquered the joy of knowing where I'll go when I die. I don't fear death. And that's something that I really feared before. I can never regret to be part of the Universal family. It has opened up a world that I was missing for so long. It, it, you can't regret it. Are you beating yourself up for having failed once again? Do you feel like no matter how many times you try, you always find yourself back at square one? We are here for you. Let us help you get out of the cycle. Give us a call now. The helpline number is available for you who would like to talk with a pastor right now. You can send us a message. You can just write a text message or send us a WhatsApp to the same number or call. Give us a call because we have here pastors ready to talk to you and to help you. Okay, that's the number that is available for you, not just during the program, but even after the program, anytime. Day or night, you can call us or send us a message, okay? Well, what I would like to tell all of you in regards of what we just saw, the testimony of deliverance and transformation of a life, it wasn't just something this person achieved. You know, it's easy that if you are unemployed, with someone's help, you can get a good job. If you, are, if you have debts, with someone's help, someone can give you the cash and you go and you pay the debts. However, to change life, the life of a person, to remove traumas, anxiety, depression, and all those spiritual and mental issues, only God can do that. Only Him can do. And we have in the Bible many examples of that, of God's power in the life of not just one person, but an entire nation. Like when the people of God, they stood in the lands of, uh, uh, 
of their pains, the land of their slavery for more than 400 years. And God sent Moses, as you all know the story, to deliver his people from that situation because they couldn't bear anymore that situation. They were tired of being slaves and they cried up to the Lord God. And that's exactly what to, today we are doing in our churches. We invite people to come and to receive strong prayers of faith, of deliverance. Because when God sent Moses to the land in which, on which the people were being slaves, God gave him authority to, in his name, bring his people out from that land. That's exactly what we pastors from the UCKG Help Center, we do. We use our faith, the authority that God gave to us, and we believe that we have it, and we use that authority against evil spirits. So in the name of Jesus, we cast them out from people's life. And there is something that I want to read to all of you here right now. When God said to Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 12, it's written, So he, God, said to Moses, I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. And God was talking about Mount Sinai because there was when or where God spoke to Moses for first time. So God said, the sign that I sent you is that you will come with my people out from the land of their pain to this mountain here. So the Mount Sinai became the symbol of deliverance. Exactly what you are listening. Mount Sinai became a symbol of deliverance for the entire nation of Israel. And from that holy place, that holy place, we brought a little bit of oil that was consecrated there. The video we will show to you now, the footage when one of our bishops that they went to the Mount Sinai at the beginning of the year, that video that you see there, it's Bishop Randall blessing the oil at the foot of the mountain. And we received from that oil here in Australia. And on Fridays, we are putting a drop of that oil on the roses, in the roses that you are bringing to the church, okay? So you will bring that rose today to receive that drop of oil on it. And there, or after that, we present the rose to God. And then you take the rose with you to your house, family or relative's house, your workplace, your business, where you know there is something bad there. Evil is there causing problems, issues, arguments, disease, lo losing money, many things. You are you, you will use that. If you say, Bishop, I am sure many people envy me. Well, you will use this rose and the rose, wherever you take that rose with you, the rose will be a symbol of deliverance. The symbol of deliverance. Just like the Mount Sinai, it's a symbol of deliverance that rose will be a symbol of deliverance as well, wherever you take it. And the mighty hand of God will be there with you. And you will see what through faith will happen to you. Evil works will be destroyed, casted down from your life. You will start to sleep well at night. You will no longer feel that void inside of you. You will be free from the anxiety, depression, addictions, not just you, but as well your household. 
So I invite you to join us today. After the prayer, I will give you the times for the services and the addresses as well. Don't be afraid of the storms that rock your life. God will protect you. Call on His name. He swore to bless you. And take away your pain and give you joy. Don't be afraid of the pain that breaks your heart. No need to fear. Put your trust in God. He'll dry your tears. No dream or problem is. For him, the sun may no longer shine, the moon may give up its light, but his promise will remain until the end. My God is not a man, all that he says will stand. I will obey his voice. The sun may no longer shine, the moon may give up its light, but His promise will remain until the end. My God is not a man, all that He says will stand, I will obey His voice on God. When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. Lord Father, we come to you through this prayer and I present the life of those who join us right now. Some of them perhaps don't even know where to start. From, from where will I start talking to God about my problems? There are so many so many things to say. They don't know where to start because nothing is okay, nothing is working for them. If they try to uh, summarize those, these last years of their life, they would just perhaps summarize it in one, one phrase, one sentence ugly or just perhaps one word hell suffering because they don't have peace they don't have joy of being alive they feel powerless cast it down they wake up in the morning already crying they wake up in the morning already asking why am i alive why am i alive because they do not have peace. So Lord, Father, I ask you now, have mercy on these people and give to each one of them who open their hearts to you and humbly they ask your help the way they know, using the words they know, Father. Please remove that heaviness from their bodies. Cast out from their minds those negative thoughts and give to this person the strength they need, the power they need to join us today in one of our 
services and bring the rose with faith so they may see your mighty hand be with them as it was with your people back then in Egypt so they may be free from all that suffering in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and you who believe and you want that for you, you may say, I agree with this prayer and I want this strength in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Dear friends, there are no impossibles to God. No impossibles. I believe that you already heard this many, many, many times. You even read it in the Bible. But how will you know there, that there are no impossibles to God, to what He can do in your life? Only if you use your faith. You need to use your faith. And that was the concerning of Moses. When God first talked to him, God told him, you will go and you will go in my name. And Moses said, look, Lord, how will they believe that you are with me? That was the concern of Moses, how they will believe me. And, and God told him, because I give you authority and you will make signs. So when you use your faith, when you make the decision of I'm going to the church today because I want to see the signs of God in my life. You are showing to God that you believe. You believe in His power and that faith will not deceive you. So today we had already our 7 a.m. service. We'll have the 10 a.m. service, then 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m also so you may choose one of these times to join us today okay here liverpool i'll be with you all of you at 153 northumberland street we are in front the liverpool plaza very close to the westfield shopping center okay 153 northumberland street here in liverpool but we also have our other branches other locations in brisbane as well, Dandenong, Footscray, same times, only Queensland, we have the light, the evening service is 7 p.m., but 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. is the same. Then we have Chatswood in Victoria Street, and also we have in Blackton, 125 Main Street. So, but if you, you, you can always go to our website, uckg.org.au, and you will find there the addresses to all our locations, okay? As well, the helpline number, the online pastor, so, and also our email, help at uckg.org.au. That's our email, okay? You can email us asking anything, a prayer request or any information that you would like to receive. May God bless all of you abundantly, and I'll be back Monday, same time with all of you. May God bless you all. See you there. Welcome to the UCKG Help Centre, where a new life awaits you. Accepting and encouraging all to join and head towards a life of fulfilment and peace. Every day we hold four services, focusing on different matters to attend to the needs of all the areas of your life. The times of our services are 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Friday, Strong prayers are made against the negative forces that work around us. We determine our deliverance and spiritual protection. Our main headquarters is located at 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. Times and addresses do vary according to the location of the UCKG. If you would like more information, please contact us by calling 9602-9837. And you can also contact us on our website www.uckg.org.au You can also send us an email at help at uckg.org.au You can like our page on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel 
UCKG Australia to keep you updated with the latest news.